Uh, anything else to look at besides the camera, monitor? The monitor, then the camera never has to happen. So I guess I think we can just leave. Well, the door that Hino said was locked before. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from in the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Saka confirmed that the door is locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. I mean, I'm surprised... well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... Because I'm thinking, like, if Asahina and Sakura were here, wouldn't they see the, the suspect or the culprit leave the room? But maybe... Maybe uh, Sakura and Asahina, after, you know, checking the room, then they left, I guess. You know, and they, and they just missed them or something, maybe. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... I mean... They would probably would have been there the entire time or something, or before them, I don't know. Hmm. There's gotta be clue around it's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There's some places I already know about. First the nurse's office where Hifumi was found, then the equipment room where Taka was found. Alright, time to explore the other crime scenes, I guess. Um, 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 but, um, um. I mean, I guess since we're here, we might as well check the physics lab. It's on the same floor. Or at least the, the, the storage, what do you call it? The storage room or, you know, the room beyond this room. You know, the room within the room. Over here. Um, 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 um. Oh, there she is, by the way. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me, I bought the dolly in the repository. There's blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from... here? Which could mean Ataka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Hmm, maybe. You couldn't, even, you could, you couldn't use it to move, I guess... You know, this um, in between the floors, you know, because it's thinking like, how would you move Hifumi's body, right? But you can't really do that with just a dolly, unless there's like an elevator of some sort we haven't seen yet, but I don't know. <laughs> but even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. <sighs> That's still a total mystery. Just as Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. I guess that's it. Okay, look at this. Huh? This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently, too. Uh, I guess no further clues about that, I guess. I guess we just talk to her. Miss, uh, Long Tongue. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed. I missed such an ultimately rare event. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to say. Okay. All right. You silly Billy. You you silly girl that murders people. Literally, that has, has just killed people before. Just a just a freaking psycho. Oh well. But she's funny, so all, all, all is forgiven because she's just, you know, just a funny person, I guess. It's fine. Hmm. It'd also be way too, you know, it'd be way too easy for her to, like, be the culprit of any murders up to this point. You know, because, um, we, are, we already did the red herring, you know, the, the, the in the second case, you know, where... We set her up, you know, at least the game set her up as like a, a red herring to like be the murderer. Now it's too obvious, you know? If she did kill someone, it'd be too easy to tell. 
Mm. I mean, okay, where we're gonna go? I guess the only other part, uh, room would be the uh, nurse's office. Right here. And there's Celestia Ludenbug. Just as Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body, but left the weapon behind. Hmm. Look at the trash can? It's just a normal trash can. Hmm, wait, there's something inside. Of course, there's, a, there's always a clue in the trash can. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, it's also covered in blood. Hmm, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth. And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have been must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? Mm. I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. So I'm gonna log it in my truth of bullets section. <laughs> yes. A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. I'm gonna drink some water too, in, in real life. Ah yes, there's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. It doesn't help me though, I'm not a vampire. Are you sure? Have you tried? You know, Celestia, you know, Celeste looks like a vampire herself. Maybe she, she would like some blood. Well, I guess just talk to her now. Well, what are you investigating, Celeste? I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Eh? How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? So Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Hmm. He could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move the Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Hmm. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Maybe they were just really strong. Well, the first thought would be Sakura, right? But there's no way Sakura. He has an alibi the entire time. Hmm, I guess that's it. Alright, goodbye, gothic Lolita waifu. <laughs> so this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? <laughs> I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> you should go to Hero's room. Oh, when let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. Well, this is a note that Hero wrote to get all of us to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. <laughs> anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Uh, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright. Cool. Thanks. Um, so he's had to go to the hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Wee! Sprint, sprint, run, 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 run. I guess we could fast travel, I think, but. Mm. Oh no, run, run. It's not it's not that. It's not that far. Just walk around. Take in the scenery. Get a, a lay of the land. Less Chihiro. Oh, rip rip Chihiro. Rip a lot of these people. They're all most of them are dead. Uh, Leon's dead. Oh, here's Yasuhiro. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Yakuya yeah, did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. 
Why is it unlocked? That's kind of weird. Well, maybe they didn't like lock it. I, mean, I don't know. Like, how does it work? Does it like automatically lock or? I'm not sure how it works. Maybe, maybe if you leave your room, it's unlocked, but anyway. Well, this is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Okay. Yep. Again, every, every, every character has, has like decorations for them. Also, yeah, what's with that thing on the left? Is that, I think the game is glitching on the left, by the way. That's not supposed to do that. The camera is not supposed to glitch out like that. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he has a lot of weird stuff. Where did he even get it all? Uh, where did he even get it all from? More importantly, this camera is like literally, you know, it's literally breaking the the seams of reality. Now, uh, more importantly, he still hasn't turned up, which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? I think this is a glitch with the PC port. So there's a lot of, like little bugs. I feel like when they ported it to the PC, I, I feel like I don't know. Weird. Alright, gotta look at his bed. I don't know. It's a normal bed, pretty much just like in one of my room. It's kinda spooky actually. <laughs> this this so I mean it kinda in a way it's kinda like a fitting coincidence because Yasuhiro is scared of ghosts. Maybe a ghost is possessing that camera right now. I don't know. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something and some things made out of it looks like cardboard plastic and plaster? Is this Rubble Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Well, Deska. I mean, I think I know what Naegi is getting at, but well, I guess we'll save it for the trial. I soundlessly check the bathroom. Well, no dead bodies in here. No, no like Sayaka corpse again. No, there's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy though. How does the bathroom even get this dirty? Let's see, what was he doing in there? Nasty. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Nothing else to look at, I guess, so I guess we're gonna leave. Makoto, big news, big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice. It's Hero wearing the costume. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. I think Hero Kyokyo would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. I w I ran so fast that I traveled fast. Fast travel. There they are, all over there. He has nothing to say. Kyo Kyo when. Yare yare dabe. Yare yare dabe. Hell man, I've had the worst day. Murdering everyone. It wasn't grand, you know? It took a lot of hard work to murder everyone. Uh, hero. I am positive. That's a suspicious individual that attacked me. Apparently, that ridiculous object is Hero. I'd ask for Kill Kill for the details if I were you. Robo Justice finally made his appearance, huh? I guess Kill Kill's the one that found him. Um, Hero? Ah, uh, yeah, duh! Who else would I be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? What? Why do I look like this? What? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it that Illuminati? <laughs> it's a big locker. Okay, we'll talk to her. I found Hero. He was jammed in the pool. Uh, he was jammed in the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know, caress my face or something. That's creepy. <laughs> she says that as she caresses, you know, dead bodies, but anyway. Anyway, Koko, where, uh, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Nan demo nai. Never mind. 
More important, eh? She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. Oh, well, well I mean, I, I have no idea. On sec one second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened, and then I woke up. Then I was here. I don't care. Do something about that costume, it pains me just to look at you. Well, um, I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. There's a collapse on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hiro out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> oh, free at last! Oh. Is it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hiro? More to the point, nobody but Hiro would be able to wear that costume. What? Wait, oh. what? Oh, hold on a sec! <laughs> Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. That's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone... ...was Hiro! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Good idea. We won't want him killing anyone else. Uh, tie me up? Oh, hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. I don't know. I mean, I think I mean we should have tied up a bunch of people already, you know, earlier on. I feel like he may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Yeah, we'll, we'll handcuff him instead. Um, yeah, I mean, attacking blueprints. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. What? Kill, killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? How do you know I'm the only one? And maybe you should try it on yourself before you convict me. Fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a... A bit? That's translated wrong. Without missing a beat, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. I mean, not translate wrong, but more like it's a typo. Okay, oh, it's super silly. Good. Also, it looks like she's not wearing any pants, by the way, but I think it's just. I think it's just because the robot costume is covering her shorts. Anyway. Mm, can't bend at the waist? Uh, I don't know. I mean, she's not wearing the full thing, but... Mm, I don't know, actually. How would it work? Because it looks like you could. You know, you just gotta, like, squat a little. I don't know, anyway. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. Uh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh. No, see, it's because you're a girl. It, if it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makuto, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Against my will, I pick up the pieces off the floor and try putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See? I told you it was impossible. You're absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hiro's body exactly. Th there's, there's another costume. Uh, they, they must have one that looks the same, but it fits them. <laughs> if you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. <laughs> evidence? You claim there's another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Who cares? Hiro's the only one who was out an alibi during this whole thing anyway. 
which is how we know it was him. I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? Well, it's been added to your truth bullets. He doesn't seem like a killer, but... I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyokyo to turn up at the same time. Hmm. Where has Kyokyo been hiding all this time? I have no idea. Perhaps she really is working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But... You are quite protective of her, yes? But that's because she helped me so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that's exactly what I would do to earn your trust. <laughs> it's very sus. Kyoko is sus. Purpo is sus. Hmm. It's looking more and more like it really was a setup. There's no talking your way out of this one. You did it. Everyone knows it. Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, the two people were killed, Taka and Hifumi. What? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it! I did not! Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... That's it! I know who did it! You may as well tell us then. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter Ego and Orochiro must have done it! I see. That's unfortunate. Ah, unfortunate? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, I know. That note. Note? Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe you could use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason I fell asleep. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a chance. No, hold on. You could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Really? I, I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Uh, I still don't buy it. Well, you should buy it. Okay, then show us that note. Mm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my uh, pocket. Uh, looks like I lost it. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before. If you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence, and you show us the note. I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? For serious? Okay. You guys' testimony, though. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, Hiro. No, it's like I said. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke and that's why. Uh, wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? Uh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. The feet don't fail me now. I guess I better go back, get back on guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch for me. But if she and Sakura have gotten to a fight, we have a catastrophe on our hands. Bye bye. Hmm. I left Sakura alone? What if she was the culprit, you know? But, well, again, she, she has an alibi though, so it's unlikely that it would be her, I guess. Or impossible, really. Well, one by one, everyone pewed away. Makoto. Do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got the late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? No. 
Okay, just now. To reject me so simply. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Thanks. Now then, shall we? So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm hearing that from the girl is the same age as me. How old are you people? I don't know. I mean, you're like teen, you're probably teenagers. Always the case in a lot of anime. They're just teenagers. <laughs> Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer that? Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. Show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. And then I guess we should head that way for now. Guess let's do that. Do -do 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 -do. Repository, the repository. I guess that'll be upstairs. It's in the art room, right? So we go upstairs, be over here. Where has Kill Kill been this entire time? Maybe, you know, maybe she was just busy. Um, watching some anime, you know? Maybe she found access to the internet, and then, you know, she was just watching some anime on her computer, that's all, right? She got just- she got distracted, you know? Because you know, there was like- there was like a, a show that was in her backlog, you know? And then she had to finish it in one setting, or one sitting, rather. Because if you don't if you don't watch it in one sitting, you probably you know stop watching it and never come back to it. You'll never finish the anime, and then you have to restart watching the anime from the very beginning, after you know, uh, forgetting everything, and, and then you're less likely to watch it again. <laughs> you know, so you gotta watch it in all one in, in one sitting. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, wrong way. Oops. I I thought. Well, obviously that's not the right place. Go go here. Repository. I feel you know repository. I don't know what repository means by the way. But it's in the art room, not the physics lab. For some reason, those two places, you know, because they're both rooms, you know, that they're like smaller rooms within another room, so I mix them up. Anyway. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to get rigid. Get, no, to go, anyway, to go rigid. But only for a moment. Yeah. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka without hesitation, began poking and prodding the bodies. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth, she was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. So reliable. <laughs> um, I guess, I don't know, we talk to her? Makoto, I found something. You dead? No. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore in his left hand? He did? I never noticed. <sighs> Are you so oblivious to, to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? Yeah. Take a look. It's in a book. No, it's broken. You can see the hands are moving, right? Uh, hey, well, hey, what's up, Kako, by the way? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6? But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Yeah, I don't see a watch, by the way. It, the watch doesn't... It doesn't show up on his, uh... On his, on his sprite, you know? Yeah, anyway. Congrats on being back. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, again, I was just kind of busy. I'm still kind of busy right now. Um, I'll probably be busy for quite a while, really, still. So I won't be able to stream as much as I did last, or rather, the last time I streamed, I guess, or, well, not last time I streamed. What am I trying to say? I won't be able to stream as much as I did before, rather. So probably only two streams a week, so not as much, but, you know. I still wanted to finish my Danganronpa playthrough, so I'm still going. Uh, hello, Celestia Ludenberg. Uh, you don't care about Hifumi? Why Taka have to die? He's just not his best friend. Yeah, that was, that's what I was saying, you know? His, his whole character development got, uh, like, uh, cut off right there. You know? He, I, I, I think it, it, the idea definitely is that I guess the writers wanted to, like, 
make it so like you know they want to like defy expectations and everything so even though you would think that he would survive he didn't i guess or something i don't know i guess i at least in the meta way anyway or maybe i don't know it, to me anyway i ha i have to wonder maybe the writers kind of like just rolled dice you know like hey who's gonna die you know in the next case you know they just like rolled a d like like some dice and then just randomly chose someone you know maybe that's what it was i'm not sure i i, I don't know if the writers ever revealed that you know whether there was an actual plan you know for the entire danganronpa uh series you know whether or not someone would die or did they just randomly choose because it, it does seem that they randomly chose people and, th and they just died you know which again i mentioned before like how that's actually one of the things i liked about you know the game series is the fact that uh, they have all this like you know potential um, character development for everybody and all these like potential character designs you know that would fit like in a normal game right but they they have the gall you know they have the balls to just kill them you know so it really does feel like anyone could die at least when you play the game the first time anyway. Anyway. But all right, so Taka, yeah, so apparently his watch is broken. He died around six, I guess. But assuming, you know, apparently his watch also got broken. Well, he got killed, I guess. So if it worked at 10 last night, it could have been broken at 6 p.m. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it's not p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. So 6 a.m., not p.m. Because we already saw him after 6 p.m. is the idea. Demo. And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right. There's something white in there. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Rigor Mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice-cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Yeah. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? I wonder about that. Kyokyo then turned to Hifumi's body. Yeah. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. Okay, now scrap paper. Ah, uh, let's see, uh... You know he's also dead, but Hifumi was the only one who had a reason to kill Taka. Remember, they had a blood feud going on. Yeah. Well, no spoilers. Shh. Don't talk about motives yet. Until the trial, anyway. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I guess check. Well, let me just talk to her again, maybe? So, did you find anything? Yeah. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A lot of paper. If me had it hidden on him. Hidden? Yeah. He stuffed it in his pants. So I can only assume he hid it on purpose, you see? Stuffing his pants. In his pants? Wait, so you... Nande. It was just his pants. Not like his socks or something. Apparently the socks are more... <laughs> the socks are definitely... Apparently more off-limits to kill kill than his pants. I... I don't know what that means. Nah. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. When I think of how it's stuffed down his pants, it's like, it better be important here for me. I'll never forgive you for this. A note. I found a hole maybe you can use to escape. Monokuma well, can't find out, so don't tell anyone else. For now, let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Well, um, Yasuhiro got a similar note, but this one's different because this one says to meet in a different place at a different time. That sounds very familiar. That's it. It's the same thing Hiro said. Then he was telling us the truth. Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Yeah, so we're now, you know, blah, 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 blah. Same thing, but different, yeah, different thing, different place, different time. The time is different. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1 a.m. But the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? Part of it has been turned off, uh, tor torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped? Um, could you maybe explain a little more? Think carefully. No. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I... I have no idea. 
What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Well. No. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks would have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that was, there was any reason to think they were connected to killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I would have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. Well, I mean, when you think of the handbooks, you think of like, you know, the second case where uh, they use it or the, you know, the culprit or whatever used it to like open certain doors or whatever, but... I mean, we haven't seen anything where we needed to open doors of a handbook, right? It was only at the, the pool, I think, right? Anyway. But if Kyokyo thinks it's important, I better keep it in mind. Well, I gotta put in a truth bullet anyway. E-handbook. Oh, okay. Are we done? Or is, it, is the investigation already done? しなたのじいな学級裁判が始まるぞ学級裁判それは花火のような一瞬の煌めき生徒死の物かり合いが生む魂の閃光というわけでそんじゃお前らはいつもの場所に集合をお願いしますゆう学校エリア一階にある Alright. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Well, we better get going. Okay. Whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> All right. I mean, I feel like uh, that investigation was pretty short. In a way, uh, you know, the whole like running around part was longer than the investigation. But anyway, it's, it's trial time already. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there, two of them. He's multiplied. Chigayo! Nope, not multiplication, it just looks that way because it's an illusion! I'm moving so fast, it really looks like I've multiplied. You know, isn't there like. I mean, well, it reminds you of Dragon Ball Z, but also in One Punch Man, I guess. That's also what, the, what Saitama did. To mimic, you know, someone actually cloning themselves. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? I'm trying to think, wasn't there like, I mean, I'm trying to, wasn't there like a, there was like an anime, you know, that like, it was specifically that, you know, it was like, like, oh no, this person is like, they, they clone themselves, but actually it's not a clone, they're just moving so fast, and it looks like they have like after images or whatever. I mean, I wasn't, I guess it was, was it just Dragon Ball Z, or was it, maybe it was just, just, maybe it was just Dragon Ball Z, I don't know. Also, like, Naruto, I guess, but Naruto was, like, literally cloning, you know, <laughs> Naruto himself literally cloned himself, so it wasn't that. I'm not sure, I don't know. There, there's, like, some kind of anime trope there, I guess. <laughs> anyway, can we just get an elevator already? We're not here to play with you. Then everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train or elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Okay then, shall we? Uh, hold on, uh, I'm not mentally prepared yet. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. You're gonna pay for your sin. I told you already, I didn't do it. We're serious. Hmm. That reminds me. Did you ever find the other costume or the note? Uh, well, no, but... Hmm, <laughs> how unfortunate. Then it was seen we have our culprit. Ah. <laughs> this isn't a place to talk about it. Save your accusations when we get to the courtroom. 
She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to... I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And I'm still alive. And when you're dying, I'll be still alive. No, um, and for the two that lost their lives. The one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed the two of our friends. The killer is... Among us. No, someone right here. Can't talk to them all? I don't like Motokuma's carefree attitude. Let's hurry up and go, so we can make Hiro pay for his crimes! <laughs> Were you listening? Wait till we get to the courtroom to begin your arguing. <laughs> it would appear the culprit has been confirmed. This trial will be over in no time. The story begins when we get down there. Uh, it wasn't me. You, you gotta believe me. And talk to you. You haven't done anything. You've just been fainting the entire time. Come on, Big Mac. Let's do it. <laughs> Big Mac. Good. All right. All right. Time to go. I took one last deep breath and exhaled, or exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard. The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. As everyone's like anti-aliasing on the edges of their like character cutout is like really bad on the PC port for some reason, I don't know. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Only because of you. Why, why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? What, what? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute! Mm, I disagree, but... Boy. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the action-packed last trial after this commercial break or something like that. Where like, well, for me anyway, I'm gonna cut, probably gonna, on YouTube anyway, I'm gonna probably gonna uh, edit it. So I'm probably gonna cut, you know, at the end of this conversation. But anyway... I never hold out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, and a deadly faith. A deadly class trial. He's gotta do he's gotta do the deadly thing every single time, I guess. Uh, save the game. As I said before, this is probably where I probably cut on YouTube. But hey! It's trial time. Is Hero the true murderer in this case? Doesn't I mean he says he didn't do it, and it doesn't seem like the kind of person that would do it. But maybe it's all an act, you know. You you know always those psychopaths, you know. Sometimes they can pretend to be someone else. Maybe he's just that good of a you know killer. But I guess we'll see.